Hey guys, uh, today we have a little bit of a project. It's going to be a multi-part series I'm doing on this channel called, well, what should we call it? Uh, home Office Build. Called the Home Office Build. The premise of this series is my dad will be moving into his home office sometime middle of September. So I have some things that I need to accomplish because I'm funding this project. I will be setting up his computer, his basically anything, any of his tech needs. I will be covering. Because this will be a home office, we'll have to have a video conferencing setup. So I have an iMac for him, as well as a secondary monitor to go along with the iMac. However, the iMac is what we're talking about today. So let me just go grab something. So for the iMac, because it comes with uh, a spinning hard drive, I'm gonna be upgrading that. We're upgrading it to this solid state drive. So this is a one terabyte WD green drive and I have the adhesive strips for the iMac because it's a 2014 iMac so I can't just like take the glass off it is adhered to it so something you guys may not know about me is that I'm good with technology I'm very good with fixing computers and phones and tablets and whatever it may be so figured well I might as well put these skills to use and do this project you're gonna be coming along with me today we'll be talking about why I'm doing this project why I'm funding the home office and don't tell my dad because he doesn't know yet. I gotta do this really quick though, because they're coming home today. I've had the weekend all to myself, however I had work and other things in the way, and then these weren't even delivered at the time. So I have these, and I have a very short amount of time to get this completely done. And so I'll be ripping that iMac apart, dusting it out, cleaning it out, and then installing the new operating system. A few things I gotta do before that, and I'll show you right now. Upstairs now, this is my upstairs. I'm gonna be using this table here to do all of my stuff. I have the SSD and the adhesive up here, and then I have my big tripod. I need to clear this plastic and that cloth off the table just to alleviate any static electricity, and then I gotta stick you on this tripod, so let's get at it. Why is my shutter speed at 50? Go away. There we go. So sorry, I live near a highway, so it's gonna you're gonna hear lots of and I can't really help that, so let's clear this table off of things. Though. This is the iMac, and this is a 2014, 21 and a half inch iMac that I was given by a, a family member who said it didn't work. However, I took a look at it and I'm pretty sure it works. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I need to wipe this thing of its operating system, format the new drive, and then install it on here. It'll be fun, I enjoy this stuff, kind of stuff, and I hope you guys as well. So come along for the ride, there'll be some more interesting stuff. So I have the two things that I'm gonna need to format this, this is not the hard drive, to format this hard drive to work with Mac OS. So I have a USB-C to two and a half inch SATA connector, and I have my MacBook Pro here, and that's all I need. Okay, so now we have the SSD. I didn't take this out of the box, whoops. So I'm basically gonna hit erase. Format it to macOS extended journal. Oh, but macOS now uses APFS. So APFS and then GUID partition map and we'll name it iMac SSD. Hit erase and that's all we have to do. In theory, we could also install the operating system right now just directly onto this drive, but We'll just do it when it's in that iMac. If you want a tutorial, you can either look up at Luke Miani on YouTube. I'll link him down below. He has some really good iMac stuff. Or you can go to ifixit.com. They have lots of guides there. Um, iFixit if you want to sponsor me. But uh, yeah, so just check out there. Yeah, anyway, so we gotta go to the next part. 
So I have here the iMac display unadhered to the frame. However, you'll notice that there's two cables, one here and one over here. So this one sends the data to here so that you can see it. And this one sends the power to here so that this one can show what's happening here. If you're ever working on iMac, do not touch the power supply. There's a good chance that it'll shock you and the shock that it will give you will be most likely fatal. So I'm just gonna pull it upwards and then I can grab this little tab in the corner here of adhesive. I can just grab that and there's the whole display assembly. Okay, so I have the trusty old iFixit kit. I can link these down in the description below. This is the ProTech toolkit. This is probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to what toolkit to buy from iFixit. If you're getting tools and, and stuff to repair stuff like this, iFixit is the way to go. They have some of the best tools on the market. I've had this kit for like two or three years. It has never let me down once. I have everything I'll ever need to repair anything like this. This, all the way up to I've even done things on my car with this kit not sponsored but I will link it down below because it is the best on the market right now so because Apple likes to be a pain in the butt sometimes and by sometimes I mean like all of the time these two screws are the only two screws in this entire set of four that are the same length whenever you're doing things just be mindful of these and don't mix them because if you put a short screw in a long hole you can kind of get away with it but if you put a long screw in a short hole you are gonna cause damage there, see, it's that easy. The hard drive that was previously in here, it was a one terabyte, but the reason I'm replacing it is not because I needed more storage, or not because my dad needed more storage, but because 5400 RPM, which if you know things about computers, that's very slow. That's not what we want at all. I forgot the SSDs elsewhere, let me go grab that. Okay, so now that we've gotten to this state, we just need to take off all of this old adhesive so that I can reinstall new adhesive and then put the display back on. So you may be able to see that flashing icon. That means there's no operating system. We want to see that. So I will come back, this battery's gonna die. So I need to reinstall a battery in this camera, set this display back into the so there's a few different options you're going to see here on the display when you boot up. Um, again, this is not a tutorial, so I'm not like trying to show you the, the display. We're just going to click install Mac OS and then it's just going to install it for us. And we just have to sit here and watch. Now, while we wait for this to do its thing, I just want to challenge you guys to do something kind this week, whether it be something as extravagant as this or it's just something little as taking them out to lunch, buying them a coffee, giving them a donut. Just do something, go out of your way to be kind to someone this week. It can always make somebody else's day. So now that I'm older, I have a big kid job and I can do things like this and I can afford to buy things and help others, I try and do that. So I do want to challenge you, do something nice this week. Go over here, because I bought an external display so that dad can have a dual display, I need to test the adapter that I already have to see if it will actually display another display. Okay, have my adapter, have an HDMI cable. Obviously I can't test it while it's installing the operating system, but I can get it ready to test. Dang it. I forgot the power cable for this monitor. Now I just need to plug this end into the iMac when it's ready. It worked. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Okay, so we're not going to use VoiceOver. 
So even though normally I would install a patcher onto this iMac so that I can run newer macOS on an older iMac, because this isn't going to be my daily driver, I'm not going to do that so that it doesn't really mess up anything for my dad. Since this will be a, a work computer, I don't really want to risk it. However, if it was my own, I would completely. Now we're just going to work on getting a external display working. I'm going to plug in this to the back of the iMac. If it works, this should light up with Mac OS on it. It works. So now let me just show you here. We have Mac OS here and down here, meaning that that display adapter works. I wasn't actually sure if it was going to work because I never actually used that adapter before. I just had it in my collection of things, but uh, I'm super glad that it's working. Yeah, next steps for this project is setting up the whole, well, the whole room, which won't happen until many weeks from now but yeah so i'm just i'm updating this imac getting the last little things getting some apps installed on it that dad wants on his new imac he doesn't know about this yet though yeah so i'll see you in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this little uh video i enjoyed making it and i will see you in the next one